What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, because we are bringing you guys all the news that is the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, back here, I've got a couple of things from training camp that we're going to be giving away. This helmet has been signed by Dak Prescott. I can't remember who else, but we got multiple signings and things on here. I think Jalen Tolbert's on here as well. Um, and I, I have to go back and look at the film to remember who's who. And, of course, look at this. Zeke Elliott right there. And then there's the football up top there that's also autographed as well. And things that are going to be going to your man cave and so on. If this season is going to be successful... It's going to be because the Dallas Cowboys are able to do something that they haven't been able to do in a long time, and that is to stop the run. The Cowboys have made a couple of moves already, bringing in a couple of players that are definitely bigger, that have familiarity with the system that Mike Zimmer has. But more than anything else, if we are going to do great things, it's going to be because Mozzie Smith makes believers out of everybody. I've been there at training camp myself. I looked at it and I say, Mozzie, attitude, if we had, you know, 53 guys with the same worth ethic that I've seen this year right now, first man on the field, last man off, that this team would be definitely in a better position. And I'm going to say that I think that Mozzie is evolving more. I, it just feels like he's beginning to open up a little bit. And when you start hearing some of the things from him, you start to like the guy and really look and say, okay, I, th th this is going to be good. I, I want to listen to the whole interview with him um, because all I could get from him was a smile and a thumbs up. Let's talk a little, I know you're talking before, just how much more comfortable you feel in this camp with, with this system and just kind of where you are after a, a year of working on your body and being here. Uh, Yeah, just, you know, put the work in like you know how to, like you learn how to in college, you know, try and bring it to the, one of my college coaches, uh, Coach McDonald, he told me, you know, whatever you did, you pack it up and you bring it with you, you know, so I had a great work ethic in college. You know, I felt like that was what helped me be able to set myself apart. And so that's what I'm bringing with me, you know. So that's all I kind of did during the off season and even during the season, you know, just try and pick up those nuggets and figure out the right things to do that I need to do because everybody different, you know. Everybody need, need different things. So um, just figuring out what worked best for me, my routine. That's what everybody talk about coming into the NFL, stuff like that. You know, take care of yourself, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. You had some good flash plays in the preseason open against the Rams. Yeah. Looking back at that film, what's what are some of your biggest takeaways as far as what you liked that you saw from yourself and what you want to work on? Um, I mean, I like the player that I that I know I can become. That's the thing I like the most. Um, and I like the journey you're getting there, yeah. you know, because it don't happen overnight. Um, I, I think that the plays, um, I think I left a lot of plays out there. To be honest, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, I think that, you know, I'm talented, you know, enough to make any play that come inside. And, and I got to get to that point where I'm doing that. How, how good is, uh, has Jeff Bonita already been for your development just in the short time this offseason working with him? Um, yeah, Coach Z, you know, he he do his thing, you know, he he uh, he talking at you, he take you out and he demanding things from you. Um, before practice, at the start of practice, and at the end of practice, it's, it's all the same energy, you know, and uh, you don't really have a choice but to get better. Is that helping your development, knowing what, you know, a particular coach, like knowing his demeanor is not going to change, he's always going to be Coach C and expect the same thing every single day? Yeah, yeah, that's because you, you try to expect that from yourself, mm -hmm. but, you know, we football players, but then we human too, and so it kind of get up and down, but when you got somebody right behind you, holding you accountable, making sure that, you know, y'all both on the same page, y'all both reaching for the same things, man. You know, things be, get a lot more easy. So the same kind of energy, how do you describe that energy in just a few words? Um, 
you know, Coach, Coach Z old school. You know, I, you know, my mom said, you know, he look and sound like the type of coach supposed to be coaching me. You know, so it's um, it's all good. You know, he a great, it's great energy, great energy. Wouldn't trade it. When did you get the uh, the star uh, tattoo? Um, I got the star right before I came out. Uh, to to camp about two weeks before I came out to camp, you know, um, it's work working, you know, bought in, you know, who would wanna, you know, I love my opportunity I got here, so. And is it also kind of hard because your your story is always gonna be connected with the Dallas Cowboys too? And- I mean, most definitely, you know, and they they trusted me, they put resources around me to help me, you know, do what I'm supposed to do, and uh, I'm forever indebted, you know. <laughs> The, the, the game of football gave me a lot, a lot, you know, and it gave me a lot before I got to the NFL. So when I got to the NFL, it just gave me more, you know, so. Yeah. They traded for a, a veteran in, in Phillips yesterday, but mm-hmm. the coaching staff and everybody was saying, this isn't about Mozzie's having a good camp, he's doing what we need. This is about getting more competition in mm-hmm. here. Just how do you take the addition of him, and do you know much about him as a player? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know all about uh, – Jordan Phillips, um, uh, he got, he didn't made a lot of plays. You know, he he invented this game. You know, and uh, when you able to add that to the room, you know, you know, uh, what they say, um, uh, I forgot what it said, iron sharp or iron or whatever yeah, they said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's what that's what you want. You know, you want competition. You want a room full of competition. You know, you don't want nobody chilling, relaxed. It's football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can you talk about Coach Z's coaching style and, and, and how you have taken to it? Um, it's a little tough love at times, but you yeah, know. yeah, we play a tough sport. Right. You know, this ain't all you know, Candyland, and this this stuff is real. Right. You know, we talk about we been dedicated our whole life to this. Mm-hmm. You know, we're playing this game since I was seven. Right. Don't ever want to let it go. I know people who, you know, didn't have the opportunity I had, and they, they still not letting me go. Mm-hmm. So it's like for me to have this opportunity, man. <laughs> so you embrace. You know he's on you because he wants you to do well and all that. Yeah. Stuff. The first thing he said to me, you know, was about becoming a great player. Right. You know, teaching us how to play the game. He played so long. Right. Him and Coach Pecco. Right. They both played a real long time. So. Um, they just trying to give us the gems that they got from seeing it and trying to, you know, make sure we know what it looked like so when we go out there, we could be a great unit. When you talk about Jordan Phillips this season as he's coming in and then Jonathan Hankins last season, obviously there has to be a balance between competing against these guys, iron sharp as iron, but also learning from these guys, especially yeah. as a young guy. I mean, yeah. what is your balance there? How do you manage that? You can learn something from somebody without saying anything or hearing anything that they say. You know, not saying that, you know, they can't come talk to me or nothing like that. Hank talked to me. I'm sure me and Jordan Phillips are going to have conversations. But just watching how they go about their business, you see bets. You know, people have done this for 11 years. They've started in the NFL for, for plenty of time. That's not an easy feat. So when you got somebody coming in that's done anything like that, you know, that's first of all, that's respect. And then, you know, you look to them and see what they're doing and seeing what you're not. How much more comfortable are you in the scheme three weeks in the camp? You know, how much better do you feel about what you're doing? Um, try to keep the head down. Mm-hmm. You know, we got real games to play. So, you know, I want to make those plays in those games, you know, just keep my head down, keep working. Mm-hmm. You know, not really worried about the feeling. Right. You know, it's next day, you know, let's do it again. Mm-hmm. Got to recreate it. Mm-hmm. But this scheme does fit you and what you oh, and your yeah. style. Yeah, but I mean... I'm, a, I'm an athlete for real, right. so like I, I could fit in any scheme, but I am pretty strong. So this this is this pretty a screen scheme for, you know, it's, it's been a lot of two gappers in this scheme, right. you know. Have you got all your strength back, you? Um, I mean, yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Welcomes the challenge and says he can play in any scheme. Basically, won that job by default. Steen didn't show up. Why does he keep showing up every time I do something? Why? 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 Dan Salio. I've never heard of Dan Salio. Who the hell is Dan Salio? Anyway, be that as it may, I like what I'm hearing. I love what I've been seeing with Mozzie. It, you know, if he's a failure, it's not going to be because of the coaching. The coaching is right there. They are trying to give him everything. It's not going to be because of the lack of worth ethic because it seems like 
he is putting in the work. If it's not success, I, I, if, if he's not successful this year, I can't think of a reason why it is why he won't be. Right attitude, got his body right, putting in the extra work, taking care of his conditioning. You saw him there yesterday with Micah Parsons running extra sprints and things like that. This guy, like I said, if you got 53 guys putting in the work the way this guy is, man, we have something. And I know. I know some of y'all are getting sick of me talking about Mozzie Smith. I know you are. I know you are. The same people that say, all he talks about is Dak Prescott. Well, I'll go through for, the, for those guys. I'll, I'll, I'll do a Dak Prescott video in a bit. How about that? All right, good people. Have a great day, and I hope to see you guys tonight. But you know how it is when you're a Dallas Cowboy fan. They, um, they give you the business. Peace out.